going on ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in it's me mikey pipes thursday may 9th 2024 if you guys remember if you guys remember that burnham gas fired steam boiler that's 14 years old well today's the day that daniel and i are gonna replace the cast iron block got it scheduled for 8 a.m this morning it's a little after 7 in the morning waiting for daniel to arrive we're gonna load up the truck Head out to the job and hopefully will it be a record-breaking replacement of a block. Because we have another install this afternoon. Let's get going! Did you notice that boss move I just made on that sanitation truck? That's what you call driving like a New Yorker. All right, Daniel, game plan. Turn off the gas. We're gonna turn off the power at the top of the stairs or the circuit breaker panel. The objective is to cut this here and we'll use a mega press two inch coupling, the new piece. Everything else gets saved. Everything. Any thoughts and feedback before we get started? Even no. criticism. Let me know now. Not yet. By the way, did you see? I don't know if you saw on the way here that New York City sanitation truck cut me off. Wouldn't let me in as off the exit ramp. Yeah. He got ahead of me, right? So I went behind him, hopped over to the next lane, and then I cut him off. <laughs> the Honda, black Honda court in front of me and myself, he cut him off and he was so trying to get in there. <laughs> and then when I moved by, I waved at him. He gave him the finger. <laughs> All right, so we know the low water caught up works. The red light just illuminated. Oh, we have an auto feeder. No, it's still on, but we're good though. Move that one. Move that one. We have 24 volts. See the thermostat wire? 24 volts feeding everything. No, we already took care of it. It's fine. You can turn it back on. Yep. All right. At least we have a nice, sturdy, and secure pipes uh, strap right here, right? We got one over there as well. So this is all good. This should be uh, easy peasy. All right, um, I've been working on the right side of the boiler, moving all the trim. We just took off the front cover that houses or that contains the thermostat relay. And um, when we took that off, I'm like, what the hell is that right there? Right? <laughs> like, what is that? I thought it was like a piece of copper, but it's actually a flashlight <laughs> that... <laughs> This is probably like hazardous like to touch. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. I wonder if the batteries are in it. Uh, well, I would think so, but should I ask him if he's missing a flashlight? I guess what that is. How the hell did that get in there? That was behind the vestibule cover. Flashlight. It definitely isn't mine. Definitely not yours? No. Okay. Well, I know you like to, like, you're mechanically inclined and no, no, change no. the thermal couple in your own water heater, but no, no. that that could have been, like, I guess deadly. The batteries are probably definitely still in there. Yeah, I'm sure. That yeah. is crazy. Not, 
the battery, not the kind of flashlight I use. It would actually. So there's the one that he uses, and here's the one that we found. That's crazy. It's like, you know, you're working on an old house and you find like new oh, papers from the 1920s. Seen, you should have seen this house when we got it. So the, it was, it was an old couple there in the 80s and they called him Mr. Patch. Everything was patch, patch, patch. They, we had to take all the plastic. Old Rube Goldberg. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. You know what? Maybe we should smelt it, Daniel. What do you think? It's already been melted. <laughs> you know, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out Smelting with Mikey Pipes. The at sign, Schmelting with Mikey Pipes. It's a YouTube channel where we, it's dedicated to ASMR and melting of the scrap Mongo that we recover from boilers and our plumbing jobs throughout the, uh, the year. And don't forget the motors we take out of blowers, circulators. And a lot of those. A lot of those, yeah. You are right there, Daniel? Yeah. Did you have your Wheaties this morning? She's tight. I know, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> but I guess who I'm, guess who I'm having dinner with S sunday night christian and well air force known and uh, connor. connor but we're also guess who's trying to come get an invite to mother's day dinner in in winter garden florida christian's mom no well, that would be that would be uh i, I think she's still in prison <laughs> but um <laughs> but um no air force's air force nuns handsome looking girlfriend why do you say she's handsome? Okay. Uh, let me show you. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, I am a fat fuck. Her? Who? Well, oh, that's a bad picture. Let's see. Uh, take a wild guess which one's the handsome looking one. It has to be. Wait, what? <laughs> you gotta touch it. I'm no, you gotta touch it first. Uh, I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Air Force Nun, Jennifer, Connor, Air, that's me, Mikey fucking Pipes, and Paige. Who's Paige? Connor's uh, lady friend. Yeah. Is he... You know, she works at this at this restaurant. It's like Hooters, but it's not. It's called Twin Peaks. <laughs> you want to you wanna guess what that means? No, it means. <laughs> so Paige works at this place called Twin Peaks. Yep. How old is Connor's 26. Yeah. By the way, in case you guys haven't checked it out, check out Cars by Connor, Connor Dykes' YouTube channel. He's got 880 subscribers. And yesterday, yesterday, he got his first organic lead off of YouTube. That's cool. That is pretty cool. It took 880 subscribers, about a couple dozen videos, but he got his first lead that saw his video on YouTube and called him for a car. That shows the power of youtube forget about social media the power of youtube okay so ladies and gentlemen we just removed the draft hood Ooh, look do, at all that rust do they give us new gasket yes we have a new anode gasket i'm pretty positive you have to look at the box but if not we'll use um furnace cement okay let's remove the rest of the stuff here and then we'll um Get rid of the blocks. What's the matter? You couldn't get it? I got it. Oh, it's cut? Oh, okay. Now cut this one. Use a Milwaukee M18 bandsaw. We slid this bad boy out of here. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get that out. Okay. Take a try. Try. You know, don't even bother because we're gonna have. Uh, I have a new male adapter. Okay. I have a uh, I have a two by inch and a quarter, and an inch and a quarter by one inch black reducing coupling, with a new one inch press male adapter, and we have the coupling. 
we have to unbolt this from the base, save those bolts. You, have to get, you may have to get a, um, whatchamacallit. Because we need the base, but we need these four blocks gone. You know what, if we take off, if we take it off the base, we may be able to lift it off. Tell that. See you next Tuesday to have a nice day. You think we can lift it all off of one piece? Off of this? I think we can lift it off of one piece. Or I think we could definitely tilt it off of one piece. Pretend it's on four or five pallets. Elevated. You're, you're stubborn. You don't want to go to the truck and get a socket set. The socket set's going to be tight too. Why? Well, you get a short one. Oh. It's not straight in. Oh, it's not straight in. That's right. You're very smart, Daniel. Very, very smart. I got those two off. Finishing up the fourth. This is not fun. But nonetheless, we have to get them off. <coughs> so I was talking to Connor the other day, Daniel about how we can grow his YouTube channel. And uh, you know what they say, sex sells. We're gonna put Paige in a, in a bikini and we're gonna have her wash the cars. Cause right now it's Air Force None. That's not fun, right? He still works there? Air Force None, yeah. He was on a, a two week unpaid suspension for insubordination. He thinks he's, you know, he thinks he's invincible. Sometimes you got to put the, the Indians in place by the Chiefs. You know what I just learned the other day? Aunt Jemima got canceled. Yes. Yeah. It's now called like Pearl, the Pearl family or Pearlman. Something stupid. Something stupid. On the, and a small little writing on the top of the box says, formerly known as Aunt Jemima. Yeah. What's wrong with Aunt Jemima? There's something wrong with everything now. Yeah. People are, are woke, too woke. Let me stop talking. All right. I know you've been waiting for this. Like Mikey Pipes, where is the hole? And the hole is right there. There it is. That is a pretty massive hole right there. You can actually see inside the block right there. See that? Bingo. Crazy. So the reason for that is when you have a steam heating system and you have the frequent addition of fresh oxygenated water, either manually or with an automatic feeder, that water that's being lost in the system is going to be replenished. And as that fresh oxygenated water boils off, oh. yeah, it handles. You know what? I could probably patent this and sell it to a maybe Subco and they'll sell it for a hundred bucks. Steam, coating. yeah, we'll put a rubber, a rubber coating on it. Use flexi, uh, you know, that uh, that spray flexi grip, plasti, right? Plas dip. plasti dip. We'll put, put, put some fla plasti dip on that, and then we'll we'll sell the license agreement to Subco and they'll sell it to boiler installers for like $150 each, and I'll get like 20 cents. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's go. We're gonna, Daniel and I are gonna try to lift this off the base and put it down, but let me get on the other side and. You know, maybe we should slide it a little bit more this way and then uh, get it going. Slide it, meaning pull well, the bottom maybe, out. Maybe go a little more this way. So plenty of room, okay? And now, let's see. Okay. That's not that bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, so the new block is right there. There's the old one. Daniel's cleaning all of the burners. Uh, we already cleaned the top of the combustion chamber. We're going to use some of this insulation. It's apparently it's dangerous to your health, so we'll use proper PPP. Make sure our hands and our eyes are covered. And they gave us new bolts. All right, so the new four section block is on the combustion chamber assembly uh, we just vacuumed out probably probably two gallons of dirt <coughs> it's crazy 
that was under the base of the old boiler. Uh, we're going to slide this into position and uh, reassemble. All right, we have a 16 and a half inch piece of two inch. We threaded this in the shop yesterday. Um, I got some Teflon tape, Blue Monster, and the Mega Lock. And we're going to thread this piece on. You know, guys, all of you who install boilers, it is never, ever that easy. <laughs> One handedly. <laughs> First try. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. That was epic. All right. We're going to. You're, gonna, you're about to put you uh, about to say you're about to do a Godzilla moment. <laughs> Lefty loosey righty tighty. Daniel's working the uh, the rigid 24 inch, not steel pipe wrench. You know, if you had a maybe a a 120, you could hold back. A what? <laughs> Well, you know, not a 24. Maybe if you had a 120, you can hold back on the boiler. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I'm sure they make one. Don't give a 48. Yeah. Yeah. That was like a gag gift I bought for you when you first started, right? We used, we used it. We, we use it? We used it a couple of times. It's crazy. It's all about the leverage, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Don't go crazy. Good. Okay. So now... We're gonna put on our two inch mega press coupling here. It's not a slip, unfortunately, but we do have enough play on here. We hope. We hope. <laughs> I really do hope. I really do hope that there is a God. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna clean off this pipe. I'll uh, spare you the boring details. Should give yourself an attaboy. That okay. That mark right there bombs it out. That mark right there bombs out. We cheated a little bit right there. I wish that was a slip coupling completely, but it works. It's awesome. We use some three quarter nipples to cheat as handles. I'm going to sell that to Subco. Subco is going to write me a check for a billion gazillion dollars. <laughs> Boiler handles. All right, excellent. Okay, the opposite side where you are gets the drain valve. Where's the box? And is there a skim tap on the other side? But when we use Surge X, we don't need to skim. Surge X. Good stuff. Beautiful. Okay, that'll be our drain. And ladies and gentlemen, 10 o'clock. All right. This reminds me of reassembling the condensers when we fully disassemble them and acid wash them it's so annoying yeah. trying to get the holes and the screws to line up is such a pain in the ass the yeah but i think burnham's gonna be very happy with us that we did this because it's a nice video it's a nice job we're doing you know because people be hating on mikey pipes on youtube they think i'm like i always upsell everything yeah, but now they're going to be like, oh, well, why, why would you just replace the block? Why wouldn't you replace the whole boiler? No, they, you know what they're going to say? Why not replace just the one section? Oh. oh. Yeah, like Mikey Pipes. How come you just didn't replace this one section with a giant hole in it? Well, if you're the kind of guy that is, let's say, doing plumbing and you have a water supply line from a valve angle stop to the faucet leaking, the other one's the same exact age. Why not replace the other one? But if you're not operating that mentality, you're leaving money on the table. 
All right, 1045, just about done dressing out the boiler. Low water cutoff, sight glass. This may be a little bit of a challenge. That right there. My uh, 15 PSI relief valve, the three quarter nipple with the um, 90. I used a wire brush, clean that off. We're gonna uh, reapply some blue monster on there with some pipe dope. Put that in the hole there. There's my drain valve. We have to wire in my spill switch. Rollout's right there. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Daniel's cleaning the sight glass. And the flu, a little for cock there, but we good. Oh, oh that would have been, been insane. Let's see you do that even with a union. It's a pretty cool idea. Mm -hmm. You know, your yes. transformer is far away. Line bolt is far away. The only thing you have here is low voltage. So power switch is on. That is about to feed. It's kind of stupid that they never put in a bypass, right? Because this is going to feed. It's going to overfeed. It's going to turn itself off in safety. And then we have to restart it. But we got to put a piece of insulation here to meet Department of Energy code. Anything we touch has to be insulated. So I took a piece of two inch steam pipe insulation. We'll put that right here. And a piece of inch and a quarter for right there. Once we check the leaks. Drains closed. Yep, sure is. Nice. It's eight after 11. She's definitely a weak looking, a weak looking pathetic looking pilot. But it was on before. Doesn't mean it's gonna be on this time. Yeah. You know, and it was his luck. The homeowner said he just had to repair his water heaters directly behind me. He had to replace the thermal couple that we refer to as a pilot flame sensor. Well, you got some balls. So you're gonna adjust the pilot flame? See Instead can. of seeing this cocky in the in the orifice, you're gonna to try to adjust the pilot flame. If you ain't testing, you're guessing, huh? Okay. Oh, oh, it just bumped up a little bit. There you go. That's bottomed out. Yeah. See? All right. Oh, I'm explaining to Daniel right now. So, Daniel, we have a, a group chat, you know, uh, Pipe Doctor, Home Service of Central Florida team chat. So, Tom had sent these invoices, the receipts for purchases, right? And it writes materials for Bahama swallow, and I wrote back like she don't she don't spit. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did you get it now? Yeah. You sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very she good. Didn't spit. Okay, she didn't so, spit. Yes. She swallows. Okay. Very good. She swallows. Okay. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. Have a blessed day. Yes, Have a blessed day. Go make some money so I can get paid. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing my best. I just replaced a, a four-section block with Daniel here in Queens, and the boiler's running right now at 11.15 a.m. in the morning. The boiler is running. Brand new four-section cast iron block in a steam boiler. I'm far from the man, but I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. You have a blessed day. All right. Say hi to your wife for me. <laughs> You're welcome, bye. <laughs> I'm going to straight to hell.
opens up. Yeah. <laughs> Go. All right. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try to squeeze over a little more to your. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold on. Okay. You good? Two more steps. I was thinking the same thing, it'll slide, all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Let's go. One, two, three. Come on, get up there. Down. Are you ready? Okay. Remember that door slams. Hold on, you're stuck on the step here. Okay. One. No, no, no. That's how you do it. You know what you should do? Drop right on the sidewalk in front of the shop. No? Send a picture of it to Julio. Yeah, have him pick it up. Did he pay? Did they pay? Did they do it? I think they had to. Yeah. Or maybe they didn't because they never called us for the... Okay. Part two. I'll do it. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> battery in there. Someone uh, forgot their flashlight when they were working on this boiler and it, uh, it melted. <laughs> well, it would be nice to say that uh, there's a new serial number and manufacturer date, but on May 8th, May 9th, 2029, right? Today 20. Nine, yes. On May 9th, 2024, we just gave this a new lease on life. Now, granted, Components will end up being replaced one by one, but as of now, she's not leaking steam anymore up the chimney. <laughs>